Now with our veteran Republican strategist, Nicole Wallace, top advisor to the McCain and Bush campaigns. And, and, and Nicole, you do see some of that lashing out oh, at Chris Christie. for the love Christie. of God, leave Chris Christie alone. You know, he's our best hope, we'll be you know. And, he's and oh. also, you know, some people looking at the Romney campaign saying they blew it. But, but you argue that the problems are much deeper than that. Yeah, look, Republicans either have to look at the map and say, eh, we saw plenty of red. Keep doing the same thing. Or they have to decide they want to win national elections. Then if you want to win national elections, you know, you have to change everything. You have to decide we, we want to and we can compete everywhere. And you should be able to compete everywhere with the message of economic opportunity, but you can't simply pass on, on the debates about all the social Not issues. Not only everywhere, but with everyone. I saw Al Cardenas, head of the American Conservative Union, say yesterday the party is too old, too white, too male. Yeah, I love Chairman Al, and he's absolutely right. And, and you know, to simply concede women it is the most puzzling of all. We're not a, a, a minority. We're not a special interest group. We're more than half of the country. So, so to have taken a pass on the war on women and say they don't care about that. They, they just want economic prosperity. We want both. You know, we want intellectually accessible and intelligent answers about social issues, but we, we do want that economic opportunity. There are more women small business owners in this country than men. So, you know, I, I think women, I think minorities, I think everybody wants the same thing, but Republicans have got to modernize the message. And what happens at this juncture is always the same thing. We talk about a war in the Republican Party between the moderates and the conservatives. That's, that's, that's an irrelevant and outdated debate. It's about modernizing the language. It's about making it relevant to the policy debates of our time. And maybe looking at New Hampshire, we have to go, but I want to quickly put up what happened in the state of New Hampshire Tuesday night. The entire state now led by women. There you see it right there. The governor, Yay. both senators, both members of Congress, all women in the state of New Hampshire right now. Nicole Wallace, thank you very much. <laughs>